Can now welcome the Honorable Minister for Information, Mr. Mustafa Hamid. He's also the spokesperson for the president, so I thought you should know that. <laughs> well, um, head of the Diaspora Relations Office, um, Mr. Wa, my very good friend now, Mr. Alex Dadi, um, Gabi Ochre Dalkon, Jermaine, I can see the head of the National Commission for Civic Education, Madam Josephine Nkrumah, I duly acknowledge you. And I acknowledge every other person that is in the hall this evening. Um, I send you greetings on behalf of the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Al Haj Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who is supposed to have given these closing remarks. Um, as Mr. Dade has already said, the entire government is in a retreat at Peduasi, and therefore the Vice President asked me to come and do this on his behalf. And so I'm going to stick to the Vice President's script and say exactly what he would have said if he was here. It is with a great sense of privilege that I stand here today to give closing remarks at the Diaspora Homecoming Summit 2017. First, let me convey the appreciation of the present administration to you all for your devotion and dedication to country, and especially for honoring the invitation to participate in this summit. I know that the program for the past three days has been hectic. You've been active participants through it all. Second, I wish to personally thank the organizers who have worked tirelessly to make this homecoming summit successful. As we seek to forge closer cooperation with Ghanaians living abroad, the issue of using the diaspora as a source of development assistance is yet to be fully explored. It is therefore gratifying that probably for the first time in our history, our closing theme is, quote, Ask not what your country can do for you, but rather what you can do for your country, unquote, as earlier espoused by John F. Kennedy. The great deal of support the country receives from Ghanaians living abroad demonstrates that the diaspora can deepen relations between Ghana and your destinations and enhance the development process at home. Much is known now about how, about how Ghanaians living abroad contribute to our national economy. The hard-earned money that you send every day to your loved ones back home represents a vital economic lifeline for many families in the country. Your remittances increase household incomes and pays for basic needs such as food, education, housing, and medical services. You have therefore improved standards of living in countless ways. It is in recognition of your love for your families and your communities that we seek more support from you to make Ghana a better place for all of us. Ghana's socioeconomic development and diaspora remittances are inextricably linked. Two years ago, the United Nations issued a call to action to eradicate poverty, end hunger, and reduce social and economic inequality in all forms under the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. It is therefore the policy of the present administration under the able leadership of His Excellency President Nana Adodankwa Akufuado to work hard to ensure that the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development is achieved. I therefore humbly extend an invitation to all Ghanaians in the diaspora, through all of you here today, 
to support the socioeconomic development of our country. Your resources have supported the socioeconomic development of your families, communities, and country. It is a well-known fact that the Ghanaian diaspora possesses tremendous assets, knowledge, skills, and networks. I therefore urge you to invest your assets, knowledge, and skills in micro, small, and medium enterprises, which can be a highly effective way of creating jobs and generating income in your local communities back home. In these ways, you will be doing something for your communities and the country. One flagship policy of the present administration is the One District, One Factory, which is an innovative and bold step in our development efforts. Our growth in the past decades has been narrowly driven by the resource sector and few industries with limited opportunities for job creation. Our growth has been largely urban-based, leaving behind the large rural economy, widening income inequality, and continuing further rural-urban migration. The One District, One Factory is our attempt to catalyze a broad-based and inclusive growth. Through your initiatives, identifying and promoting one micro, small, or medium enterprise in Ghana will strengthen the socioeconomic development policy of the government to our mutual benefit. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, steps are being taken to ensure that the procedure for setting up businesses or enterprises in Ghana are reduced to the barest minimum to enhance our competitiveness. We believe that in this way, our brothers and sisters in the diaspora will feel more comfortable to return home to set up small and medium enterprises. In keeping with our promise to ensure that Ghanaians living abroad play positive roles in the socioeconomic and political development of our country, Ghana's diplomatic missions abroad are serving as focal points for rallying Ghanaian experts and attracting Ghanaian investors into the industrial sector. We have underscored the importance of this role sufficiently in our socioeconomic policy to ensure that Ghanaians living abroad play the leading role as pioneers in achieving our industrialization policy. Ghana needs you as leaders in industry. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, what else can you do for your country? Equally of great interest to us is to see Ghanaians living abroad becoming avenues for trade, tourism, and investment promotion. We expect to see Ghanaians living abroad returning home as investors, tourists, or trade delegations from your countries of residence. If we direct our energies to these matters, then we will be serving Ghana. This is the way we want to strengthen our ties and deepen our relations. The focus of the government has been social and economic development and strategies like I have mentioned, the one district, one factory, one village, one dam, and one constituency, one million dollars, with the cooperation of the Ghanaian diaspora, some of these projects would be achieved. Ghana needs your support to develop some of the projects envisaged in these policies, so together we can build resilient people and communities. There should not be any skepticism about what you as Ghanaians living abroad can do for your country. The government is poised to address the lack of transparency in our relations and to respond to your needs in a timely manner. This is the rationale behind the establishment of a diaspora relations office headed by a director at the presidency. The diaspora relations office at the office of the president is to remove any barriers that prevents Ghanaians living abroad from accessing the services of government and state institutions. This office is to ensure the creation of sustainable and long-term relations. It is to ensure an effective partnership to our mutual benefit. Finally, once again, allow me to congratulate you all for making this summit a memorable one. Kindly let the theme 
of the summit, development, opportunity, and value be our guiding principle and redefine our relations in the years ahead. Now, this is the Vice President's message.